Good evening everybody and a very warm welcome to Behringer and tonight I have a video response in answer to a question and it's all to do with um, AWS ramps and how they actually work so without further ado I'm going to try and attempt to show you and demonstrate to you how an AWS ramp works The first question is what is an AWS ramp? An AWS ramp is a magnet which is situated on the track which the train reacts to as it passes over it in a form of a buzzer or, or a ding and that will alert the driver to what's coming up ahead on and the And usually line. the AWS ramp will either warn you of a change of speed or it will, or it will warn you of a change of signal aspect and basically if you hear a buzzer it's usually a warning um, either as in a reduction of speed or that there is um, a change in the signal as in terms of it's either displaying a, an amber or a red signal ahead so whenever you get um, whenever you pass what over one of these magnets if it dings it usually means that you can travel at line speed, everything's okay, and you, or you've got a green signal ahead and that you can carry on. If you get a buzzer, it's usually to in indicate that you've either got a speed reduction or you've got a double amber, an amber or a red signal coming up. And usually what happens is as a train, the sloping bit faces the train coming towards it and as the train goes over it, if all is well, a ding will go in the cab and then you can travel at your normal line speed down the line and everything's fine. However, if you go over it and, it's, and, it, and it sounds a buzzer, it's usually to tell you that it's either the signal ahead is telling you to slow down or that you've got a speed restriction coming up. And usually, um, AWS ramps are, I think, I believe, is it 200? I think it's 200 yards away from the signal that it's indicating. On my layout, I have four AWS ramps: one, two, three, and four on this short section. But that is basically because both of these lines are bi-directional. Whereas on this main line here, there's only one, and then there's one on the other side here, down the end here, and that's because these two lines are the main lines which is one up and one down so they don't need um, the additional AWS ramps but because these two are bi-directional I basically need one for each line going that way and then I need these two for when the train is travelling in that direction so that's why there are four here on, um, on this short section of double track here, passing loop track. Also, um, you also get these AWS ramps, as I said earlier, to let you know of speed reductions. Now, let's just say, for example, here, your speed reduction starts here for 20 miles an hour, and that would be in the form of a circle, and it would say 10, 20 miles an hour on it. But you'd get a warning triangle first, the yellow one, and that might be back here. And then 200 yards further back, which would probably be about there, you'd have an AWS warning ramp, and that would warn you that you're coming up to this um, change of speed in the form of a triangle. So it hasn't started yet, but it's just telling you that that's what you're going to be approaching. So you'd have a yellow triangle, warning triangle with the 20, and that AWS ramp will be there to warn you of that speed reduction. So when you get to this point you should already be doing 20 miles an hour into the station so you also so you also get the AWS ramps in the form of speed reductions also and again um, you'd have on basically up here because it's a bi-directional line um, you might only need it on facing one but it depending on whether or not there's a different change of speed going up in the other direction as well but basically that's the ins and outs roughly of um, AWS ramps and how they work I believe 
Um, I'm sure that if I get this wrong that somebody will shoot me for it but I think um, I've been playing train sim long enough and un my understanding of it is is enough that it, it it's pretty much sol solid what I'm telling you so um, so yeah I mean this is just for my purpose it's just to add a bit more extra detail and extra real realism but I also intend to put signals here at some point I don't know when but these are all here already and they're very easy to fit and they're very effective as well I mean these are these ones are from Pico and you get a pack of four I think it is for two pounds 45 um, I think it's I think it's a pack of four I think you get two sprues um, for two so two two sprues of two so you get so you get four in a pack for 245 so um, I hope that's explained it um, and I hope it's kind of you can understand what I'm what I'm saying um, I'm not sure if I've explained it properly whether I've come across correctly um, but that's pretty much it um, in a nutshell um, the AWS ramp is basically a magnet which the train reacts to to give the driver a warning of any upcoming um, signals and speed restrictions and basically depending on the sound that will alert the driver as to whether or not it's a warning or whether or not it's good to go. So thanks for watching, uh, please feel free to comment and subscribe and I'd like to thank my class 156 for demonstration purposes and I will speak to you all soon when I have something else to tell you. So bye for now.